Juno just flew by Jupiter for the first time with all the science instruments on, and it was spectacular. Um, the spacecraft performed flawlessly, the instruments all worked exactly as planned, and the data is amazing. Um, we're looking deep into Jupiter, we're learning about the secrets that it's holding, um, but we're also getting a lot of surprises about the aurora, about the atmosphere, how it works. I mean, just it's, it's just incredible. Juno had its camera, Juno Cam, on during the flyby. We got the first pictures of Jupiter's poles, the North and South Pole. They were amazing, a lot of surprises in them. It didn't look like we thought. Doesn't look much like Saturn's pole. We have a, an infrared instrument on Juno um, called Juram, and it was uh, designed and built and uh, delivered by the Italian Space Agency. And this instrument makes thermal maps of Jupiter. So the images are showing you what's warm, hot, cold on Jupiter. And one of the things you can see right away is the center of some of these hurricane-like storms are cooler than the surrounding area. And sometimes you go over a warm spot. And we went over one that was very small that seems hotter than the surrounding area. And that's very similar to what Galileo Probe went into back in 1995. This was the first flyby of many, and in fact, this was really just a test. It wasn't even in our plan. We were just kind of going by so that we could calibrate and make sure we understood how the instruments worked and evaluate the environment. But the data was so rich, it's really, really uh, whetted our appetite and given us incredible excitement about the things that are going to come in the future flybys. When you go to a place as hazardous as Jupiter, we put a lot of time through the whole development process in trying to design a spacecraft that will operate in the high radiation fields, the magnetic environment, the spacecraft charging environment, everything that you do with the Jupiter. And I have to say the spacecraft has been performing admirably. Well, what's interesting about our mission is that every time we fly by the planet, we fly right through the edges of the radiation belts. Uh, when we flew by and entered Jupiter's orbit back on July 4th, we saw a number of radiation hits on the spacecraft in the spacecraft flight computer. We saw some this time as well, but a lot less than expected. So it does show that uh, the environment is within what we expected, and it's well within the capability of us to handle. Well, what's next for us is our final main engine burn. We're in the middle of our 53-day orbit, the second capture orbit is what we call it. When we fly by again, we'll fire the main engine for 22 minutes and that'll put us into a 14-day orbit. It's really important that we get that right uh, because that sets the orbital period for the rest of the mission. But it is the fourth time we fire the main engine, although it's a very complex maneuver. The team has done it successfully and near perfectly three times in a row. So, we're not worried about it, but we'll treat it with all the normal rigor and respect it deserves.